Farting is mainly caused by air that we swallow while eating and by gases that our intestines produce. In a simplified description, hard to digest components of food are broken down, resulting in gases that our body cannot absorb. These gases are discharged in the form of flatulence and are definitely a good sign of a functioning digestive system. Every person farts on average about 20 times a day. Much of the gas consists of odorless carbon monoxide and hydrogen sulfide, which is produced by foods containing sulfur. Why a fart stinks is primarily due to the foods you consume. High fiber foods promote the production of intestinal bacteria, so more gas is produced as a result, causing more frequent farting. However, many people are embarrassed to fart, especially when other people are present. This is also quite understandable. During a conversation in the bank you do not necessarily want to let out a fart. But in your own four walls you should not try to suppress a fart, because this can lead to problems under certain circumstances. However, if a bloated belly or frequent farting accompanied by discomfort occurs more frequently, it is advisable to consult a doctor, as this could be a sign of liver, intestinal or pancreatic disease. Also, in some cases, there may be an intolerance to certain foods or allergies, such as lactose intolerance. But now let's get to the six reasons why you should never suppress a fart. Number one, farting reduces a bloated belly. Many people suffer from a bloated belly, especially after eating. Although this is usually not a serious health problem, it is really unpleasant. A bloated belly is usually due to the fact that air that we have taken in while eating accumulates in the belly. Farting helps to get rid of this excess gas and provides relief. If you don't let this gas out, it will only get worse and can lead to painful stomach cramps. Number 2. Farting helps to keep the right diet. Everyone reacts individually to the foods they eat. When you experiment with your diet, farts are a good indication of the balance or imbalance of your belly. For example, consuming too much red meat can bring unpleasant smelling flatulence, while complex carbohydrates usually lead to increased gas with little odor. Number 3. Farting can help against abdominal pain. While it is certainly not appropriate to fart in every situation, holding it in can lead to pain especially if there is too much gas in your stomach. If you feel like you need to fart but can't, try gently massaging your abdomen to help move the gases through your system and when an opportunity arises, release some gas. Number 4. Inhaling farts prevent cell damage. What sounds a little strange at first, however, has been confirmed by a study. Inhaling a small dose of hydrogen sulfide gas, which our intestines produce during digestion, can prevent mitochondrial damage to our cells, which in turn can reduce the risk of strokes, heart attacks and arthritis. So take a deep breath every now and then when you've had a fart. Number 5. Farts give an insight into health. If you pay attention to your farting, especially the regularity, the smell and whether it is accompanied by pain, you may notice possible indications of a health problem more quickly and consult a doctor. As mentioned earlier, this does not always have to be an indication of poor nutrition. And number 6. Farting feels good. If you are honest, it is a real relief when gas that has been in the stomach for a long time and disturbed escapes. Farting provides an incredible relief that is unparalleled. And your pain will be gone for the time being. So you see, farting is important for you and your health, so you should not stop it at all. Just let out everything that doesn't pay rent. If you still want to know 10 signs of protein deficiency that you should never ignore, then be sure to watch the video that we link to you here. If you like the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.